Today we are looking at 3D scatter plots in MATLAB. They're beautiful. I highly recommend you check out my 2D scatter plot video if you haven't seen any introduction to scatter plots at all. However, if you're already a pro, then you're in the right place. We're going to start off with this figure one here. And basically, when you're doing a 3D scatter plot, you're going to be using the scatter3 function. You can always get help on these functions by doing help scatter3 and then look at the documentation or just read this lengthy description. We are going to be using X, Y, and Z. Those are going to be the positions of the dots, the markers, the points that we put in space. Then you can add a size and color variation as well to change the points and how they look. Here's my X, my Y, my Z, all dependent on X here. I've got sizes defined. I'm calling these just strain measurements. It's random data with no significance. I've also got colors defined here as well. And I'm calling my scatter three X, Y, Z sizes, colors, and then specifying that I want my dots to be filled. And that way it's a solid dot and not just the outline. Keep in mind that these all need to be the same exact size. So right now when I run this, I've got them all as one by 1001 doubles, okay, X, Y, Z, and colors and sizes. To add the color bar, you need to do bar equals color bar, and then change the Y label of the bar to pressure, if you want to get that handy little label here on the color bar as shown. With this, you can click the 3D rotation button and look around. Kind of fun to see it in different ways. Of course, you can click the hand to shift it back and forth, always going back to home, and use the zoom in and zoom out with the scroll on your mouse. That's it for that plot. The second one here, I've got in a slightly different manner, scatter three. This is a nicer way to display your plotting function. It's the same exact command, just split out. MATLAB lets you skip lines if you provide a dot, 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 don't forget your comma right here. And then you can do dot, dot, dots between the different lines. This is good if these calls are not just simply one variable, but if it's a longer list of stuff or a long named variable where you're selecting a specific column, this is just a great way to see it. And then you can add these inline comments as well, which is really handy for readability of your code. This one is different because I'm using the mesh grid function. You'll notice here that technically each point in XYZ only occurs once. So each of these in the first plot are unique values. There's no repeat position in space. However, on my sand ripples plot, let me run this to get the sand ripples plot. This one actually has unique X, Y, and Z values at every point. And it all starts with this, the X and Y mesh grid that I created. I start by defining my little lowercase x from 1 to 10, and you can see that here on the x axis. And then I do the same thing for the y, 1 to 10 on the y axis. This mesh grid function allows me to have a grid of x, y points. If we look, the output is x, y here, capitals now. I use capital for my mesh grid functions. Let's take a look at the variables themselves, little x is just 1 to 10 as we go across through the columns. Big X is going to be each of these rows copied downwards. Here's Big X, each of the rows, as we saw in Little X, it's just Little X in every row now. For the Y, Y is just 1 to 10 similarly, and then when we do the capital Y, we get 1 to 10's going down. Okay, see how now the one to 10 happens as we go down to the rows and then the columns are copied over and that gives us this grid of points that we can work with. And now when I define Z, Z is also a 91 by 91 double because I'm using the capital X and the capital Y. This allows us to then plot X, Y, Z points along that grid 91 by 91 to give us 3D points in space along this grid. I'm just looking for a consistent size in this one, so I gave it a fixed value of five, and MATLAB knows to just apply five to each of the dots, 
and then I'm scaling the Z purely here for the color. I'm using these colons to just output. If I just output an X, X is that 91 by 91 column. So I get all these columns out, excuse me, 91 by 91 vector, and it prints out each of those one at a time. However, I want these just to be one by N values. So I can convert the 91 by 91 to a one by N by just using this colon. So if I were to do length of X with the colon, I get a one by 8281. And then I can plot my X, Y, and Z as one by N vectors, and that allows me to use scatter three. I've used the axes equal command just to make that square and the axes are the same scale here. And thus it looks visually reasonable because this is a topography map. I'm using the same color bar notation here, calling the height for the Y label on that, and then just X, Y, and Z labels as well. Those are the two main types of scatter plots in 3D. Hope you enjoyed this and have an awesome day.